I'm back with a process video and this time I'm going to be working on or working in my unfinished junk journal from a travel or from a trip that I took a while back. So it's kind of considered a little travel junk journal. I'm just kind of flipping through the pages that I have done. I think I've shared the processes uh, from this before, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, I've, it would have been several pages that I've completed. Um, and then I have a lot more to go. As you can see, there's a stack of photos here that have not been scrapped. And so my goal for March is to get this done. Um, so at this point, I'm just kind of looking through which photos I want to try to scrap. I, I am going to try to do it in order or at least chronological order for the most part. Um, it may not be perfect, but I'll try to, as I'll try to keep kind of like at least the days together. So, and it's been a couple years since I've been on this trip. So I'll try to remember as best I can. Um, I'm just right now looking at the two photos and kind of seeing what I want to use as layering pieces. I found a little doily that I liked and then I've pulled um, one of my embellishment drawers out just to kind of get a look at some of the scraps or some other pieces that I could layer behind both of my photos. So the photo on the left is just of um, part of our hotel room and then the other photo is of the shower which I know is weird but they had some really um, cool or really nice like shampoo and conditioner and body wash and I remember thinking well this is super cool because it's like connected I know some hotels have this but it was connected to the shower um, but it wasn't like your standard like Neutrogena it was like a really nice um, shampoo and conditioner so I had to uh, document that also um, I really liked the smell of it and that was another way that I could remember what it was so that I could potentially purchase it myself. And so I did later get, get the conditioner for Christmas. So anyway, all that to say, I am going to go ahead and start adhering some of that down. I like the doily there at the bottom. And then there is one piece that had these like swans on it that I liked just like kind of the background or at least the pink poking out. And so you won't be able to see the swans, but you'll be able to see the pattern, at least in the background. And then I am going to use this little label piece um, just to kind of, I knew that I was probably going to use some tiny text words. So I'm going to use that as an anchor for that. And then now I'm going to go ahead and layer on my right side, I'm not doing heavy layering in this, or at least on this page. Um, this does have a lot of patterns to this particular um, ringed album. And so it's nice because you can kind of do it as bulky as you want. But um, for these pages, I kind of leave them pretty simple. I found a couple of tags that I really liked. And I'm just going to kind of look through this drawer to see if there's anything else that I want to use. I do that a lot where I'll kind of um, just see if there's anything that stands out. And I'll pull the things that potentially could go with the layout that I'm um, creating and then I may not use all of it, but at least I have some things kind of set aside. So that's super helpful in my process. So at this point I'm looking for something to go inside that glassine bag and what I found is a little vintage pattern that I got in I believe I shared this in a recent um I was either an Instagram video or a reel I think anyway it was um a package that I got from paper game company and it has some really neat patterns in there so I used that to place inside the glassine bag and then I tab use my tab punch to create a tab so that I can pull it in and out and then I'm looking for a tiny text word or phrase to stick on top of the label that is in the right hand corner or the right, top right hand corner of the photo um, on the left side. So I did find something that I liked for that. And then I knew I wanted to add something. I believe I end up adding something on the tab or maybe I don't. <laughs> maybe I just leave it blank. I knew that was my thought process, but I'm not sure if I ended up doing that. I have these cute stamping cut um floral pieces that I used in or that I actually stamped out in one of my DIY embellishment videos most recently and those are from In Love Art Shop and I love those little pieces. I thought they added kind of a nice little 
um, touch to the both of this like the pages. So I added it on one of the, added on top of the glassing bag, but then also on the left hand side. And those were just kind of in my little scrap drawer, just because I didn't use them whenever I created them in my DIY embellishments. And now I'm just adding some finishing touches. I'm looking through my chipboard pieces to see if there's anything I want to use. I did find, I think I found a couple of, I think I found a diamond piece that's from Studio Calico. And then I also found a triangular piece too. And that pretty much wraps up this process video. Um, I hope you guys liked it. If you want to see more, give me a thumbs up and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.